Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to work with the new model pages. You create one of those by clicking on Add a Page here under the gearbox, or you go into the Pages library and select to create a new site page. The site page is the new model page. The other two are the old model page. So you want to create a site page. That's what we're showing in this demo. The first part is the header. And as you see, it's taking up quite a lot of space. And there are three things that you can do with this header. You can, of course, go ahead and type a heading. And then you can change the background image. So I'm just going to upload a file here. Let's just do the logo. And then you can change the focal zone, the focal area of this image. And then finally, you can remove it. And notice that I, when I remove this background image, then the whole heading area takes up a lot less space, which might be something that you want, because if you don't have that much screen space, such as in my case, uh, the background image does you require quite a lot of space. Then once you're done with the heading, you'll see up here that my page has been saved, but nobody else than me can see it un until it's actually published, of course. Then you can add content, and you do that by adding web parts of one sort or another. Uh, the most common one is, of course, to add text there, but images, files, links, all these kind of things, uh, all these web parts can be useful. So I'm, I'm not going to show you all of these, but I'm, I'll show you the most important ones. So let's start with the simplest and maybe most common one, the text one. As you see, that gives you a little web part box that, of course, grows as you add more text to it. When I type, you'll notice that I have this little toolbar up here. And you'll also notice that that is rather limited. I don't get too many different options. I get bold, I get italic, underline, bullet points, numbered list, and I get the alignment and I can create links. I can also clear the formatting, but that's about it. So it's a very limited, very simple to use text editor here. So enough said about that. Let's move on and add an image web part. And that, of course, lets you upload or select an existing image. So let's go into here and see my images there. Let's add that image. And as you see, that doesn't give me a whole lot of options either. I can put a caption here. Uh, I can um, edit the different options, and there are not that many. It's just the alternative text. I'll just remove that for now. And then you have this, the moving option. That's rather important. When you click on that, you expect something to happen maybe, but that's not what it's for. It's for actually dragging. You take hold of this little thing there and drag it, and then you can move the order of that. So now you see I put the image above the text, and again I pull it. There we go. I pull the text, and I put that on top. So that's how you use that. You pull by dragging on, on this little icon right there. You pull the whole web part by that handle. All right, moving on, uh, I will add another web part. Let's add one actually between these two. Add it there. So let's put in a divider. That's a rather useful one, or at least it gives some uh, visual uh, distinction there. If you want to create space instead, you can have a, a special web part for that called a spacer. Now I'm running out of screen space there, so let's actually search for it, spacer. There you go, the spacer. And that gives you a white vertical space. You can control this by dragging or by using the arrow keys up and down on your keyboard. So let's clear these web parts that I've been showing you so far. So And then I want to show you the section layout. And as you see, you have a couple of different sections there. So if I select the one column, that gives me a section area where I can put web parts in there. But I can also select among the different layouts for a section. So the two columns, of course, give you two columns side by side, three columns. Obviously, three columns side by side. Um, and then the one third left. 
and the one third right. There you see and the, that those uh, are using the available space. So that this one is of course very useful to have the main content here to the left and then some uh, more information to the right there. All right, so those are the sections. I'm gonna remove those sections for now also. And then I'm gonna show you the highlighted content web part. This is one of my favorites actually. It's, it's very similar to the content by search web part that you might have used in the classic SharePoint experience. So in this one also, also has quite a few settings. This is showing you search result. By default, it's showing you the most recent documents. But you can limit this by source, by type of SharePoint item, and by type of document. So if you only want to see your PowerPoints, you can do that here. And also even more, you can add filter on include words, content include the words, and down here, the most powerful of all, the managed property. So if you like content type, for example, you can do that. So you search for a managed property, like content type. And then you select that here. There we go. So you have the content type there. And you can enter a search value there and add filter. And then you have the sort. And finally, you have a layout, how this is going to be displayed. So a list, cards, a carousel, or even a film strip. And of course, the list also, as you see, has headings there. So it displays for the, a bit more information on the list. So this is a powerful web part that I recommend that you look into. I'm going to remove it for now, though, and show you the final one. The final web part that I want to show you is the hero one. I think that's kind of cool. Uh, here, as you see, this has five different pieces of content in a highly visual layout. So there I can add content. Let's just put that there now, and now you can see all the areas. So we have one big content area to the left and four small ones there. So I can select a link to an image, document, or a page. Let's select a PowerPoint presentation to the left. And as you see, that's showing up there. And then I can add other content there. Let's just upload some images there and have those there to show you how that's working. All right, so that's a few different web parts. So what you finally do is, of course, you publish the document. All right, thank you for watching this demonstration.